Hello everybody, Bear Hams here with episode 2 of You Squad Gods on Football Manager with FC Cincinnati. And we'll take a look at how we've been doing so far, as I have been playing some games off camera. And uh, after our victory against FC Dallas, we've been very inconsistent. Immediately right after, we've <laughs> we just got smashed. New England 5-1, Toronto 3-0, LA 2-0, Minnesota United 4-1. And then we hit a bit of a boon. And this is just bizarre. So, as you saw in the first game, Fernando Adi scored two goals. But then he got hurt for two months. So I had no choice but to bring up Ricardo Martinez, the two-star uh, striker who I, I didn't really have too much thought about. And uh, like I was desperate at this point because we don't actually have a striker, like a actual striker other than Adi, so I had to bring him up. And he now leads the team in goals. He scored five in nine games, as you can see down there. Five and nine games. And pretty much during that winning streak, he he got us all of our wins. It was pretty extraordinary. And then after that bit of a streak, we kind of went downhill again. Though we have been winning our U.S. Cup games, only because they're against lesser teams. But hey, we're winning the games we're supposed to be winning. That's perfectly fine with that. Another big piece of news as we'll take a look at our staff. Landon Donovan is our assistant coach. I got sick of the old one because whenever I had him do interviews, he'd always storm out because a simple question would get him all frazzled. So I got someone with a little more personality and a distinguished uh, football player like Landon Donovan, the highest scoring American male in history. So I gave him a go, and it's, I mean, the reason, I, I okay, I wouldn't say the reason why we're doing so well is because of him, because we aren't actually doing so well, but that little streak we had, he helped out quite a bit. So now in this episode, we have two games. Uh, first game, on the 1st of June of 2019, we have our first Ohio Derby as, as we'll take on Columbus Crew. And then the game after that, just three days later, we have the fourth round of the U.S. Open Cup against LAFC. Before we get into any gameplay, we did make two signings off camera. The first one and probably the most important one was Matt Beasler, the U.S. International. Reason why I signed him up was because Felipe Cantu is not getting any help with, from his defensive partner, so I signed the experienced American off of waivers. And then our second waiver signing was Jason Steigerwald, a regenerated player who was drafted this year in the first round by Atlanta United. And knowing that this is a youth-based series, I had to snap him up as soon as I could. Looking at his stats already and his potential, he might be on the roster for the years to come. Due to match congestion, we do have a very tired side, and also we have a lot of suspended players. As you will see, Beasler and Madranda, they'll be out for this match, though we will have them for the U.S. Open match. So for this game, we'll have Gonzalez, Laid, Cantu, Keenan, McCrary, Bone, Walker, Albadawi, Steigerwald, McLaughlin, and Ricardo Martinez starting up top. And then also, quick side note before we actually get into the game, Abuchi Bearding. I found out that the last name Bearding, if you look at the board, see, look at the members, Jeff Bearding is a director for the side. So, you know, with, I think if we do a little, uh, not role playing, but kind of backstory, uh, Abuchi Bearding is the adopted son of Jeff Bearding. And as the first player from the academy to graduate and be a part of the side, 
he's got a lot on his hands. It's is he, you know, a case of nepotism where it's just a really bad player just put in there just because his dad, you know, is higher up on the side or he's an actual really good player. We'll have to figure out in the games to come. Sorry, do they have themselves a free kick as Santos brings that in? Header, good save. It will be cleared out. So just four minutes in, Jesse Gonzalez is already having to fend for himself between the sticks. Just trying to hold possession for as long as we can, but here we go. There's a pass. Martinez looking for some options. He'll flow it to Walker. Walker to Al Bildawi. Ah, saved by Zach Steffen. Yeah, some space. He'll get that to Santos. Oh. Oh, wow. Miram. Wide open. Should have put it past Gonzalez. <laughs> it was still nil-nil. All right. Oh, stretching us out. Floats it. Miram. Options. Zardes. Arter. Oh, another one over the bar. And still, Columbus has not scored yet. As, as FC Cincinnati is just holding on for dear life. There we go. Halftime. Nil-nil. Good so far. I'm just going to tell everybody to hunker down. Oh, good pass. Martinez. Ah, uh, get on your horse. Wait, what? Still going? Shoots. Ah, uh, saved by Stefan. Our two chances have just been easily pushed aside by the American goalkeeper, who will probably, in due time, will be playing in Europe. He's already been getting some offers. I think Bristol City was going for him. They're just trying to lull us right now. Went from for one misstep as Vitus floats in the box. Miram, oh, hits the post. Might get another shot, but it is deflected. Once again. Gonzalez comes in to save the day. So now Santos gets the cross in. Vitus with a shot just ping pongs around. <laughs> and it is cleared away. Oh, that's going to go out of bounds. All right, now Gonzalez, just time waste here. It looks like he'll just do that. So he'll have to finally take the shot, and he's still just milking it for as long as possible. 59... There we go. We're done. And we have survived with a shoestring team. 90 minutes, 21 shots, 10 on target. And our boy, Jesse Gonzalez, made every single save. Atta kid. Atta kid. Before we get into our second and final game of today's episode, I'd love to give a shout out to Zebu Nation, who is also doing a football manager save with FC Cincinnati. Unlike me, who's doing the youth-based regen type stuff, he's just doing a straightforward career mode with FC Cincinnati. So give him give him a check. He's really good. He does a very it's very podcast style. It's about 20 to 30 minutes long. It's very nice and laid back, and I like watching it. So, yes. All right. Fourth round, going to the Bank of California Stadium. And we might actually have a chance here. A lot of our good players will be back. Uh, two of them in particular are Madranda and Beasler. So we'll have those two. Cantu, McCrary, McLaughlin, Bone, Alashi, Albadawi, Ledesma, and Adi. Screwed something up, and now we do have a corner here as Albadawi tries to get that to Cantu. Cantu with the header. Goes to Madranda. Shoots and scores! Yes! Jimmy Madranda! Thank you, sir. Eight minutes in, and we got ourselves a shock lead right now. So once again, Felipe Cantu, our first round draft pick in the Super Draft. Getting the assist on that one. He actually has two goals on the season, which is sad that he has the same amount of goals as Fernando Adi. But yeah, so there we go. End of the half. So far, so good. Jimmy Madranda putting home <laughs> just a, a ping pong pass from Felipe Cantu. And now just 45 minutes left in the game. I can smell us getting to the round of 16. I don't know what I'm going to do with the next episode if we, in fact, win this game. Because I was thinking of just finishing out the season for episode three, and then once we get more regen players, 
we can start slowing it down and getting it that way. But if we make a run, we might as well film it. As McCrary gets taken down, and we will keep it, though, as Beasler will get it to Alashi. Alashi to Bone. Back to Fatty Alashi. Oh, here's Madranda coming down the flank. Has a chance for a cross. There's men in the box. Adi de Ledesma shoots and scores. Manny Ledesma. Oh, I can smell it now. 2-0. Away from home. And I think it's two time zones away as well, as I believe Cincinnati is in the eastern time zone. So now they have themselves a corner as Vela, Vea. Gets it in. Good save. Cantu clears it out. Woo! The clean sheet streak continues. Oh, here we go. Get into the 90th minute. Oh, uh, intercepted. Latif blessing. We'll find win. Just a couple seconds left. 93. There we go. Yes. What an upset. God, what a weird episode. I was expecting us to lose both games, but we end up drawing, and now we're in the round of 16. So yeah, so far, not doing too bad. Could be doing a lot worse. There are many things we need to improve on as a team. Uh, goal scoring, it's not good to see that a 16-year-old is outscoring everyone, even though he's been on a cold streak for a very long time. But yeah, things are going pretty good so far in this save. So thanks again for watching. This will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys next time. This has been Bear Hams. And as always, toodaloo.